put a stocking on the pot. The plants will stop getting sick. Line the potting soil with cotton and pull the stocking over it. This trick can save your plants. When used regularly, it ensures the health of your flowers. It protects them from diseases and pests. When discolorations and spots appear on the leaves, few of us know whether it's bacteria, fungi, or pests. You usually resort to spraying. But with dense foliage, it's not that simple. The spray needs to be precise. It's easy to miss a leaf. Wiping the leaves with a cotton ball is not always effective. And it's time-consuming. Try another trick. Take some cotton and lay it on the potting soil. Completely cover the plant with cotton. Use a piece of old pantyhose and stretch it over the pot from below. So it holds the cotton in place. Fill a bucket with water. Add chopped garlic to it. Use plenty of garlic. Leave the water for about half an hour. After this time, take your plant and immerse it in the bucket. Only immerse its leaves. If the bucket is larger than mine, use sticks to prevent the pot from falling into the water. Leave the plant in the water for several minutes. Garlic is antibacterial. It also kills and repels pests. Instead of sprays, you can save your plants by soaking them in water with garlic. They will be healthy, and you will enjoy their beautiful sight. This is a secret ingredient for gardeners. They add it to the monstera, and thanks to it, the plant grows like crazy. Monstera is not a demanding plant. However, it doesn't always grow the way we want it to. You can easily support it. It will repay you with incredibly beautiful leaves. Few people know that the whole secret of its uniqueness may lie in a simple fertilizer. Just use peels from popular fruits. After drying, they are perfect for fertilizing monstera. They contain potassium, phosphorus, calcium, silicon, and sulfur. They wonderfully strengthen plants, including monstera. Take dried banana peels. You can dry them on a radiator or in the oven when it's still warm after preparing dinner or baking. Put them in a coffee grinder and grind. It should turn into a fine powder. Remove the top layer of soil from the pot. In its place, sprinkle the fertilizer made from banana peels. Spread it carefully around the entire plant. Then cover the fertilizer with the previously chosen soil and water it. That's all. Monstera will absorb all the necessary nutrients from the fertilizer. Thanks to them, it will become even more beautiful. The leaves will be large, and characteristic holes will start appearing on them. Do you have a monstera? Sprinkle a handful over the orchid. This fertilizer will make it bloom abundantly. You can have beautifully flowering orchids at home if you provide them with the right supplements. I'll show you how to feed orchids. With this fertilizer, they will produce many new buds, be healthy and robust. New flower stems will appear, even on old stems. You'll learn two methods that I use to fertilize orchids with one product. Here's the first method. Pour about a cup of rice into a pan and turn on the stove. Heat it in a dry pan for about three minutes. It should be lightly toasted, but not burned. When it cools a bit, transfer the rice to a blender. Grind the rice grains. Transfer the rice flour to a jar. You can store it this way and take the right amount for orchid fertilization. I take a tablespoon of ground rice and pour it into a bowl. Then I pour boiling water over it, mix and leave it to cool. During this time, the water will absorb many minerals from the rice. You can also use ground rice with cold water. Pour water into a glass with a teaspoon of ground rice. Leave it for some time to let the water absorb the most valuable elements from the rice. You can water orchids with this water. Thanks to this fertilizer, the orchid strengthens. You can give at least five tablespoons to each pot. It's enough to do this once a month. The second method is traditional, using raw rice. Pour water over the rice and let it stand. You can use warm or cold water in this method. In the case of cold water, always leave the rice in the water for a longer time. Use this fertilizer regularly, especially when orchids have flower buds. This way, you'll have beautiful flowers. Just one teaspoon of this spice is enough for orchids to be covered in flowers. This trick is used by orchid growers. Thanks to it, their flowers bloom all year round.
yellow leaves and withered stems may be a sign of serious fungi. It turns out that garlic is the secret ingredient that works great as a fertilizer for orchids. It contains many minerals such as phosphorus, iron, and potassium. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties, acting as a protective shield against insects and mites. Take three cloves of garlic and crush them. Then, pour a liter of water and leave it overnight. The next day, pour the mixture into the flower pot. After 30 minutes, pour off the excess fertilizer. Garlic water can also be poured into a sprayer and used to mist the leaves. The scent of garlic and its antifungal properties protect the plant from diseases and pests. For busy individuals, there's also a simple recipe with granulated garlic. Just add a teaspoon of the spice to a liter of water, then mix the solution and water your plants with it. And that's it. Garlic infusions serve not only as protection, but also support growth and blooming. Garlic acts as a nourishing agent. It contains active substances and nutrients. Simply fertilize the orchids with it at least once every two weeks to make them bloom again. It's the only fertilizer I use for my orchids. They literally bend under the weight of the flowers. Just one teaspoon is enough to stimulate orchids to bloom. The plant will bend under the weight of the flowers. Forget about watering them with plain tap water. This homemade fertilizer will work much better. Orchids are very finicky plants. Providing them with the right conditions for blooming is very demanding. It turns out that just one teaspoon of this powder mixed with water is enough for the plant to grow beautiful and healthy. Water the orchids only when their substrate becomes dry. It is generally accepted that this plant should receive a portion of water at intervals of a few days, but no less frequently than once every two weeks. Don't water them with plain tap water alone. Prepare a homemade mixture that will make them start blooming. Put a tablespoon of gelatin in a bowl, then pour warm water over it and stir until the powder dissolves. Gelatin is rich in nitrogen. It is thanks to it that plant roots become stronger and develop faster. In addition, regular nitrogen fertilizer feeding causes the plant to grow more vigorously and produce flowers more often. When the mixture becomes transparent, pour it into half a liter of cold water. Mix everything together. Water the orchids with this prepared mixture. Plants nourished with nitrogen develop new flowers faster. Thanks to fertilization, they will also delight our eyes for a longer time. This watering fertilizer is cheap, natural, and effective. It's worth using it at least once a week. Since I've known this recipe, my orchids have been blooming like crazy, and the flowers last on them for up to nine months. Them for